This week, as always, One Circuit is coming to you live from downtown Tasmania. One Circuit, low in sugar, high in fibre. A little LED indicator here. Uh, what's it got? Ten, by the look of it, ten different LEDs. I guess the first thing is to find out if it works. So I've got uh, all the all the LEDs on this side are linked and then out to ground via a 220 ohm resistor. So we just need to supply five volts on this side, and we have blue, green. Yep, looks to be working. Green. That's number three. Four greens. Yellow. Yellow yellow, three yellows, and then two reds. So yeah, it's working, which is fine, and it can be used to uh, to practically indicate or measure anything. I guess the classic one is volume. So I've got one of these little electric um, microphones here, and then something which uh, came in a long, long time ago, but I haven't uh, really looked at, is the LM3915. Now there's a couple of different types of these things. Let's get a bit close and have another look. The LM3915 is a logarithmic driver of these types of displays. There is a linear one as well, the LM3914, uh, but the idea of the logarithmic one is that it takes considerably more sound to push us towards the red zone, and that matches how the decibel scale works as well, which is also logarithmic. The other strange thing from memory, and we'll have to have a look at the pinout, but I think the sound uh, comes in through here. I think it's pin number five. And I think the indicator lights themselves are, are actually connected to the other side of the chip in terms of being sourced, uh, sorry, being sunk. Uh, so the current is sunk, not sourced. Uh, but I'll have to check that. And uh, the other thing is that you can change the mode as to whether it's a continuous bar or whether it's just dots to indicate the uh, the sound. And I think that's uh, that's done through this last pin here, which would be pin number, what is that, eight, nine. I, I'm guessing it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. yeah, pin number nine. And, and uh, so if you put it either on VCC or ground, then uh, that will actually affect how the display uh, actually works. So let's get a few wires connected up and see if we can't get it going. I guess we're at about the halfway point. This has proven to be a little more challenging than I expected, mainly because if you go onto the internet and have a look at the chip information and various projects that are using this guy, the LM3915, uh, the pinouts and the configurations uh, vary uh, quite a lot. And uh, so I've just gone with this one here at the moment, but I think I will be changing it. Uh, in particular, there's a combination of a capacitor and a 10K pot, which I don't think is wired correctly in uh, currently in this configuration. Uh, also, I've got 5 volts coming in, and I think I'll probably need a little bit more, which means I probably need to change all of these 120 ohm resistors for probably, well, maybe even up to 1K. And finally, the uh, condenser microphone may need some sort of amplification before it goes through to this chip. So at the moment, uh, all we've got is um, clearly something coming through, and I think if I, if I blow on the microphone itself, then we get something that's indicating uh, that it's sort of working. So yeah, rewire, uh, particularly this, which has got to do with the sensitivity of the chip. Something going on also with the um, the last few pins on this side, which I will change and uh, change the voltage, change the resistors, have a look at the configuration of the microphone, we're underway, but uh, yeah, some work to be done. I've been doing a fair bit of rage testing on this thing. It's um, it's a bit peculiar, but what I've ended up doing is just putting a 1K straight down to ground from these tied pin 6 and 7. Uh, pin 8 is down to ground. This one from signal to ground is 300K. And this monster here, uh, which is a little over spec, but it's 20 ohm. 
So it's the ratio between here and here which um, which seems to have a bit of an effect, as well as that this is 10k coming in here, so much lower, and we're not getting uh, the sort of um, response I'm looking for on the condenser microphone, and much higher, and there's nothing at all. So I think let's just uh, turn it on and see what we get. Oh, the other thing is that it's 12 volts too now, so 12 volts coming in. And uh, there you can see, so it does this sort of cycle to start with. And uh, it's picking up my voice a little bit, <laughs> but I'm having to yell a bit, sorry about that. And if I, you know, clap hands or blow, <sighs> blowing is good, <sighs> that's nice. But uh, I think the next thing to do, I'm gonna come up with a separate uh, circuit here, an op-amp circuit probably, to try and boost the volume of uh, coming out of the condenser microphone before it actually feeds into the LM3915. So uh, yeah, almost there. We seem to have enough amplification now for it to uh, pick up my voice. So there's a condenser mic and we've got a 10 microfarad capacitor coming out. Also on the other side of that is our signal going out to this LM358. Uh, we've got a 1K resistor here going to pin 2, 100K resistor between pin 1 and 2, and the output going back to the LM3915 via this 100 microfarad capacitor. Should be 220, but uh, only had a 100 handy, so that's what it is. And on pin 3 here, we have a voltage divider, so we've got... Uh -huh. 10k on this side going to ground and 10k uh, slightly different wattage but anyway it's still 10k going to VCC and that VCC and ground is plugged into the same rail here which is 12 volts so that is the circuit working for this week uh, and I guess there's a lot of components here but at the heart of it the old logarithmic uh, LM3915, which can then power, well, in this case, an LED array, but it could just be a lot of different LEDs in order to uh, amplify or show, measure, whatever you like to say, a signal, in this case, an audio signal.